Good morning, Mark Isfeld. Welcome to the Blackjack of MITV. For those of you who aren't very savvy in the ways of card gambling, that means it's the 21st episode of MITV. To start things off, we need to talk to you about the yearbook. We are in serious danger here, Mark Isfeld. We only have about 10 or 11 people on the yearbook crew, which means you will not get a yearbook until late September. This may not seem like a big deal to you grade 8s and 9s who haven't really had a yearbook before, but to us grade 11s and 12s, this is huge. So please, if you want a yearbook, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays after school, go into room 400, help out with the yearbook. You get to own your, add your own little taste of Mark is spelled to the yearbook. If this little segment about it was enough for you, go talk to Lea Tien or Mr. Green for more information. We now go to Rebecca Lee, doing a segment on the basketball teams. Take it away, Rebecca. Basketball. Yeah, so congratulations to all of our basketball teams. Not just the junior, not just the senior, not just the girls, not just the boys, but all of you. From what I've been told, we are dynamite. We absolutely crush the competition. So, thank you. Thank you for making us look awesome. You're awesome. And with that, we now go to the teen slang of the week, which is Ako Taco. That's pretty self-explanatory. The situation is really Ako Taco. We're now taking you to Brandon Toon, the only person on the team who has an actual segment. <laughs> Take it away, Brandon. Hey guys, so I had a segment about the Interact Club and a project they're doing, but it can't be done anymore, so it's irrelevant. Just like MITV. Bye. Thank you, Brandon. We're going to go to the second French word of the week ever. And this week's French word of the week is... Parcours. Which means... A track, journey, or run with a cray route and a bunch of other stuff. It also refers to an adventure park. Yeah. French words. Next week, there is a big... Hello? Oh. Alright. Okay, never mind. Turns out Brooke has a segment two today, so we're gonna go to Brooke doing a segment on something. I don't know if you saw, but uh, last Wednesday there's a lot of people wearing pink. Some weird fad going on. Uh, I thought I'd go investigate this and go talk to people about pink. Because why not? It's pink. Uh, Jared, what are your thoughts on pink? Pink? Um, I think it's quite a masculine color. So masculine. Looks and good on you, though. So thank you very much. Welcome. I appreciate that. Um, and what's the first thing that comes to mind you think, think? I think of flowers. It's kind of cool. Um, do you know anything about the history of pink, Jim? Uh, no, I don't. So, Emily, uh, what are your thoughts on pink? Oh, I really like pink. It's awesome. Yeah. What are your thoughts on pink? It's a good color. It's a good color. Solid color. It looks good on you. Thank you. You're Same welcome. thing Jared said, so you kind of stole that, but mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate the compliment. Um, and what's the first thing that comes to mind you think? Um, cotton candy. Cotton candy. Okay. Um, you know anything about the history of pink, Miss Tajin? I'm pretty sure that it happened when an artist was painting and um, took a step backwards to admire his work and knocked over a can of white paint and a can mm -hmm. of red paint, and they mixed together. Pink. That's kind of incorrect. Because you don't invent pink, pink's just a color. Thoughts on pink? I think that's awesome. Uh, so, thoughts on pink? Well, I think it's uh, an interesting way to show your support for bullying and it's kind of jumping against it. It's just a color. It's just a color? Well, it is for breast cancer, too. It's so also jumping to conclusions. It's also jumping to conclusions? Well, I suppose the color pink is a combination of red and white. Here we go. Thanks, Brooke. As I was saying earlier, next week on the 4th and the 6th, there are bake sales going on. On the 4th, it's in the morning, or maybe at lunch. I'm not quite sure. And on the 6th, which is a Wednesday, it is at lunch. Two bake sales, Marcus Feld. Two bake sales. Two. Stay frosty, Marcus Feld. She just holds the camera like that. I don't know. It's not actually filming. <laughs> MITV special footage. Raw. Okay. 